This is InfoLife TV headline news, February 22nd. I'm Malko Dutkevich. European Union lawmakers urged Israel to refrain from inflicting collective punishment on the Palestinian residents in Gaza and stated that the Israeli blockade over the coastal region had failed and Israel's actions are putting lives at danger. The lawmakers failed to address the ongoing Qassam rocket fire at Israeli communities. The United States imposed sanctions against a prominent Syrian businessman in a bid to punish Damascus for alleged efforts to undermine the governments of Iraq and Lebanon. The targeted Syrian Rami Makhlouf is a cell phone magnet and a relative of Syrian's president Bashar Assad. The action will freeze assets he may have in the U.S. and prohibit American firms and individuals from having any dealings with him. Italian Foreign Minister Massimo D'Alema described the car bomb that killed arch terrorist Madmonia as an act of terror. In an interview with the Italian weekly L'Espresso, the outgoing minister said that Israel's policy of targeting Hamas officials are unacceptable. Targeted killings have not bolstered the West's image and they serve as an alibi for terror, he said. Maccabi Tel Aviv's final four aspirations suffered a hefty blow Thursday night in Lithuania with the team losing 101-82 in the match with Zalgiris Kaunas. Until now, the team has won six straight games in the Euro League. Defence Minister Hood Barak will ask the government to approve the continued employment of 800 Turkish construction workers at Sunday's cabinet meeting. The workers' employment is part of the defense collaboration between Israel and Turkey. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, residents of Starot moved their protest to Tel Aviv. And just what would a divided Jerusalem look like anyway? That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television site that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world. Today, the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.